It's been an incredible honor to uh, be recognized for our crowd's work in Houdini. I describe crowd simulation technology as a set of tools for creating, animating, and simulating characters at a large scale. So examples of crowd simulation can be seen in uh, stadiums, arenas, or anywhere where you kind of just need a shot filled out with background characters to kind of um, increase the ambience of the scene. The first release of our crowd simulation tools was in Houdini 14, which was in 2015, and we started development about a year, year and a half before that. What we introduced was something new called an agent primitive. That was kind of like an intrinsic uh, crowd character that had properties uh, suited for uh, crowd animation and simulation. So we introduced a tool set that allowed you to very easily create crowds with uh, behavior and also a very efficient preview of crowds in the viewport with um, native uh, level of detail optimizations and whatnot. And also very efficient pipe down to the renderer as well at render time. It's been really nice to see how quickly our crowd tools have been adopted in the industry over the last few years and to see all of the amazing work that artists have been creating using our tools. And really we wouldn't be receiving this award if it wasn't for all of the amazing work that our artists have done. My name is Niall Hilton and I'm the Crowd Supervisor at the Mill in New York. My name is uh, Louis-Philippe Clavet, CG Supervisor at Oblique FX. Out of the box, Houdini Crowd Tools are brilliant and they're so tightly integrated into Houdini that anyone who's kind of vaguely familiar with Houdini can hit the ground running straight away. So we like the Crowd Tools uh, because it's, it's working out of the box in Houdini and since we're already using the software as our main DCC, it was a natural fit for us. So Awaken the Phantom is a two and a half minute spot for Nike and the whole premise is that there's this amazing moment in a football match and everyone around the world seen it. Given that there was only two of us working the crowd on the spot and we had 50 plus shots to get out in a month and a half, agent creation, crowd blocking, shot production, crowd animation and lighting and rendering all had to take place at once. The quality and sheer volume of work we got done, in addition to the technical challenges, with such a small team and such a tight deadline, it's phenomenal. And it's been a big springboard for us to take on a lot more complex crowd work, which now is all being done in Houdini. Jean Major is a feature film about two young men playing the Junior Hockey League in Quebec, uh, making their way into the pros. We needed to do about 200 crowd shots with limited resources. I, I think there are some challenges that would just scream procedural uh, proceduralism in general, uh, and other would just be better using brute force. Uh, but when you're talking about arenas uh, full of crowds reacting to uh, to what was what is going on on the ice. If you're going to the brute force approach, you, you can just animate every single character one by one. So proceduralism in this kind of work is just a no-brainer. What I love about the, the final product is that it's, it's seamless. Uh, I mean, there, there are a lot of uh, action shots and uh, a lot of the crowd is only in the background, but we didn't want to steer attention from the story, uh, which revolves around the, 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 the few young men playing hockey. The key part of crowds is being able to take a large amount of data and be able to very efficiently render out animations of them. So it doesn't have to be just um, biped characters like humans. It can be things like uh, flocks of fish. It can be examples of car traffic. It can be spaceships. Anywhere where you just have some sort of deforming mesh that you want to animate a large amount of variations for. We've been continuing to improve the tool set with new features like ragdolls, fuzzy logic, more animation blending abilities, and so on. We love talking to artists and helping them out. And so the ME gives us uh, just more and more continued motivation to create the best tools that we can.